You're watching CBS 46 News at Noon. You've probably seen them in magazines or on the fashion runway, flawless legs. But can normal women have them too? We followed two women to find out. Both have varicose veins and both want flawless legs. CBS 46's Stephanie Fisher shows us how things turned out for them in this health alert. Big, bulky, um, purplish, and then some green ones, just ugly. Being so young, I'm always self-conscious. I don't wear skirts, I don't wear shorts, anything like that. I tend to look when women are walking in the back of their legs and they just look nice and clean and there's no veins. We followed both Anna and Jamie in their pursuit of flawless legs. Now, because their degree of vein severity differs, their doctor's treating them with different procedures. The best way uh, for us to determine and direct therapy is an ultrasound uh, Doppler study of the legs. And this time it may be okay to blame your mom. Heredity plays a great part in it. That's perfect. Especially if you have okay. faulty valves. Okay, Varicose veins can also be triggered by pregnancy, trauma, obesity, or if you have a job where you're on your feet all day. More so, it's uncomfortable just because, you know, I'm self-conscious about it. But physically, um, there's burning, itching. I get um, tenderness in my legs. Those are the ones that I hate. Yeah, I know. This one? See that big dark one? Yeah, I'll get that one, too. I hate that. <laughs> Since Jamie doesn't have a leaky valve, Dr. Caudill treats her varicose veins with injection therapy. The stick doesn't hurt. It's a tiny needle. It's An injection of detergent alcohol will cause the veins to wither and die. Oh, wow. It literally disappears in front of your face. It does. See, oh, my it was gosh. Like, it was like this, honey. Now it's gone. Did you see that? They were getting swollen towards my ankles. Anna's situation is more serious than Jamie's. She has leaky valves, so the doctor will treat her with endovenous laser therapy. It's the latest state-of-the-art technology. Local anesthesia is applied so there's minimal pain, and then a small laser fiber is inserted right into the damaged vein, and pulses of laser light seal it shut. You are fixed. And the best part, normal activity, including exercise, can be resumed right away. The next step for Jamie and Anna is they must wear these compression hose. It's like a real thick pantyhose. They have to wear them for three weeks. They can take them off to bathe and to eat, but otherwise these have to become part of the ladies' wardrobe for the best results. That's what they want. They want the good-looking legs. Gail Peters, a vascular and interventional radiologist at Emory University Hospital, also specializes in vein therapy. You have a lot of options, so make sure that you're dealing with someone with whom you're comfortable and someone with whom you know or feel confident has the experience to, to give you the right advice and do the right thing for you. She says you must use the ultrasound for proper diagnosis. If you don't fix the underlying problem and you just fix the spiders on the skin, they're going to come back. Jamie and Anna were pleased with the results. The injections cost $150 to $250 per leg. Now, laser therapy is $3,000 to $5,000 per leg. Go to our website and click on the big red bar to learn more about free vein screenings at Emory.